haven't put anything on the canvas yet. I'm going to put liquid white on it here in a second. We're using raw umber, ivory black, Prussian blue, crimson, alizarin crimson, titanium white, yellow ochre, and then leftover naphthol red, probably just for the signature. Uh, and this one, I don't know. Maybe I'll just paint a rock, like a big old boulder. Something easy. This week's been too too much complicated stuff going on. I need. I just need easy stuff. And this is the uh, just Alexander White. That's crooked. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Magic White. You can get it on their website. It works really good. I use it when I'm using regular regular oil paint. If I'm using water mixable oils, I just mix it myself. It's just thin down. I make my own thin down white. And, and then when you're applying this, you can do little X's or I like to do circles. I find that gets it in the in between the weaves a little bit better. But well, whatever, whatever works for you. Gets the canvas nice and slick. Hopefully I don't put too much on it this time so I can actually see it. Last time I put I put so much on that it, it, the glare from the light here was I couldn't even look at my canvas without seeing it. It was really bad. So hopefully this time I don't mess it up. Make sure I get the top there. Uh, some there. I think that's about all over. I did forget to do the corners most of the time. Or the sides, I should say, not the corners. I usually get the corners, but not the sides. Alright, that's good enough. And that's just regular liquid white there. Alright, back to the old the old palette. And I didn't wipe off, I didn't really wipe off my brushes. I probably should have. Maybe I will. I didn't wipe off all of them, I should say. I wiped off some of them. But there's still some green in this. Which wouldn't be good if you're trying to make a nice blue sky. Get some green in it. Alright, that should be good enough. Probably not, but hopefully hopefully it's good enough. Alright, I'll just go into Prussian Blue. I'll do like a dark, a very dark, whoops, dark blue sky here today. It's just straight Prussian blue. Little X strokes. Probably could add some crimson down underneath it. I don't know, I don't know if I want to do that. Maybe we could. Maybe just a little bit. Tiny, tiny bit. Try to go up. Something like that. I don't know. Just trying to get color in there. I do think the green is starting to come off, which is okay. I don't. I don't mind. This is a practice painting anyway. Not trying to sell these. All right, is that sky? Maybe. Good enough, good enough. All right, let's do, let's get some more blue. And we'll go into the bottom and add some water here. Probably should add some of that weird green blue color down here, but that's fine. There we go. Go left, right, one more time. Whoops! I just threw my brush again. Happens at least once a stream. I throw my brush. All right. 
I'll go back in this blue, try and darken up the corners again. Maybe we'll add some clouds or something here. It can just be shapes. Whatever we want. Just use the palette knife for this one. That's going to be a very, hopefully, very easy painting. All right, we want to start with some burnt umber. That's a good base, usually. Maybe some burnt umber and some ivory black. So we have like two values of it. That should be good enough. Let's see. What do we want to do? We could do like a Oregon boulder. C stacks. <laughs> I love sea stacks. Anybody who's watched before, I pay them sometimes. They're just so interesting. There's these big boulders that sit out in the ocean. I'm just throwing some color in. Let's see how steep we want. Let's just make it really steep. Like he comes out all the way there. There we go. Big old boulder. And I'll cover. I'll cover up some parts of this with more different colors here. This is just the base. All right. There's our biggest boulder. Let's see. I need to wipe this off. Probably not. Probably okay to not wipe it off. Maybe add some more brown. I'm going to color to that. Oops. That'd be a good side color. Mm. Do I like that color? Maybe. Maybe that's a good color for highlighting things. At least the first level of highlights. throwing this in here. It's going to look very steep. If you want it to look steep, you just pull straight down. Very, very steep. There's a ridge here. I don't know if you can see it. It's probably really dark. Backside. All right, then we'll use a little bit of that color there. That's just umber, black, and white. Should look like a little bit of a stone, stonish color. I don't know how to explain it. I'm just gonna go where I think the uh, the main edge of the rocks are. Speed painting. Okay. No need to rush yet. All right, let's go black again. A little bit of umber. I'm actually I should have done this beforehand, but uh, let's see how we do this. Should have put it in before, but I forgot. There we go. Next time I'll remember. All right. And then how do I want to do this? Pull up, I guess. 
It's going to pick up a lot of black, so I might need to wipe it off in between. Loosely go on it like I was the other one. Nothing precise though. Let's see if it goes that way. It's gonna go this way. That one's gonna go here. All right. I'll go back in here. Wipe it off. The brush has too much paint in it. There we go. Something like that. Just highlighting it a bit. And I can add some white in there to clean it up. So that's fine. Alright. Super simple painting. Because we're kind of crunched for time. Because we're about to get hit by a ton of rain. <laughs> Let's just add a little tiny brother boulder here. Oh, he's got a little, little friend. A little tiny, tiny boulder here. Something like that. Add in something. Like that for the reflection. Come on here. Pull down. Oh, I forgot the towel. Always gotta have a paper towel here to wipe off extra paint. Pull to the right here. There we go. Go back into our palette. We'll grab some of this umber color. Maybe throw in some more black. Is this a little bit darker? It's closer. It is going to be very hard to see these. So I apologize for that. Should have thought about that before I started. But that's my bad. All right, we'll go in there. On there. I just threw some ochre in it. I don't really know why. I just felt like it. Maybe I'll make it look a little bit more green. There we go. Something like that. Little boulder. Big boulder, little boulder. I don't even know what to add. I kind of want to add a little headland in the back. Some crimson and blue. Some white. Over here. Just kind of like cover this area up. It looks kind of bare. Should have done it before. Again, wasn't thinking. Just got to be careful. It's not a huge deal. And I'll add some more blue to that. Blue and crimson. A little darker one up front. I don't know. I just felt like there was a big space there I needed to cover up. Maybe that's just me. But just something I felt like doing. Pull that down. Pull across. And I can actually add some more white to this. That's not enough. That's not enough. <laughs> I'll get it right eventually. I think that's right. Something like that. Just so it separates. Alright, we did that. We did that. I don't know. I want to add some highlights in front of the rock, maybe. It's a very simple, very 
uninterested. I don't know. Maybe it's interesting pain to you. I don't know. I don't want to assume. All right. Let's just use a weird color here. like uh, ripples. I definitely put way too much paint down here in the water so if you if you're trying to paint this that's my only warning. Try not to throw so much paint down near in the bottom. Alright. So we got our boulder. He's got some shadows. He's got a little baby boulder next to him. Maybe we had a wave. I haven't done a seascape type deal in a while. We could add a wave. Maybe a wave or two. Alright. Where's the crash? Right there. And he goes off. And then we'll add another one a little bit behind him. Try to use up all this white. Hopefully just cover all the stuff that I don't like back here. <laughs> That's my secret. Just cover everything up that I don't like. Oh. Sorry, might cut out for a second. Should have been paying attention. And if it ever cuffs off completely, let me know because it's uh, not, it's not using rechargeable batteries, so it might uh, it might cut out at some point for permanent, and <laughs> I have to change the batteries. Yeah, this is the first time I painted since probably Tuesday. It's been tough. I used to I was trying to get through to all the Bob Ross paintings by. August, but it's not looking like I'm gonna get to get there because of this. Just all this stuff going on. All right, we got waves. We got. Ah, oh, they're crooked. I knew I would mess something up. That's fine. All right, so we got all that in. Now we got to add our crash crashing wave here. Which way we want it? Mm, I kind of drew it in a way that it could go. <laughs> it could be in either one. Let's uh, let's do it this way. Alright, there's the wave. We'll add in an eye here. Go to the right. There. Uh, we want him to splash. Let's make him splash a little bit. Actually, before I do that, maybe we can add in. Oop, that was Rumble of Thunder. Not sure if you could hear that. This is just crimson, umber, and red. Uh, crimson, umber, and black. Maybe like a rust color. I don't we're throwing a rock right here. There we go. Just darken up the corner a bit. Give the rock some, or the wave something to splash on. So it's not looking so plain. Alright. Then we'll go back into the white. Add some more splashes in here. Probably could do some of this. To give the water some shape. And then we'll add even more before we go splashing on this guy. Actually, I missed the corner again. Whoops. Always gotta cover the corners. 
And if you're trying to be real fancy, you cover the sides too, like on the on the side of the canvas. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love the look and sound of a wave breaking on some rocks, that's for sure. That's one of my favorite sounds. I haven't been to the beach in quite some time, but one day I'll go again. There we go. Alright, we got those. I don't have any oil. I do have titanium or liquid white here, and that would actually work for this. I'm gonna do a script liner, some speedy script liner uh what are these? Foam? Foam uh I just call it foam. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm thinking too hard about stuff. I need to stop. That's the part. Oh, whoops. That's when I stop enjoying painting is when I'm thinking too hard. I just got to go in. Just got to start doing stuff. All right. And then I'll take this brush. Just kind of lightly go over these so they're not as harsh. Maybe blend this out a little bit down here. Something like that. And then we have all this red paint, or not red paint, <laughs> dark paint. Ugh. Maybe put another boulder out here. Just on the corner. He's just hanging out. He's not getting splashed yet, but you can tell he might be soon. All right, and then with that, I'll throw in some white. I mean, this is an off-white because I had some blue or something, purple in it. Might be pink, I don't know. No idea here. Not concerned about that. I'm just making it look more like a rock. And then wipe this off. Grab some more liquid white on this brush because we're going to be going over like 50 layers of paint there. Uh, we'll need one more paper towel. <laughs> end of the roll, end of the roll. That's why it's so squeaky. All right. And then we can wrap this one up before the string cuts out or the power cuts out. All right. Some liquid white into the titanium white. I think this has got like purple in it. I can't really tell. It's, a <laughs> it's got everything in it. I don't, know. I don't know what I'm doing, folks. And we're going to go. Where should we start on the rock? Let's go from the bottom. Splash. And we'll grab the rest of this white. Pretty much all this. <laughs> any color that's over here. This one to look really splashy. There we go. He's been splashed. <laughs> All right. Wipe this off. Wipe this off. Go back into the naphthol red here. And a little bit of white. Liquid white. Just to. Normally I use linseed oil. I think I said that last time. Just need this to be thin before we go over all this stuff here. Otherwise it gets gets blurry or even more muddy. Alright. We'll sign this. And hopefully we can get it up off the canvas before anything catastrophic happens. Two. Two. Alright. I'm out of paper towels. Got one over here. So Cleaning these will be very interesting. <laughs> yeah, trusting the process. <laughs> That's right. All right. Here's our spooky looking rock out in the middle of the little middle of the ocean here. All right, there we go. Not too bad. Came out okay. Colors might be weird, but that's just my style. <laughs> Because I can't see most of them. Or I get them mixed up. Alright, everybody. Thanks for joining.